Jamie Carragher has told Virgil van Dijk to emulate Rio Ferdinand after agreeing a world record pound 75 million move to Liverpool from Southampton. Ferdinand previously held the tag as the world's most expensive defender when he joined Manchester United from Leeds for £30 million in 2002. Ferdinand went on to lift six Premier League titles and 14 trophies and Carragher believes Van Dijk can have the same impact. The Reds icon, 39 told Sky Sports, I think there is a dearth of top-class centre-backs throughout world football hence why so many clubs wanted him and the transfer fee is so high, said Carrer. People will look at the transfer that normally strikers go for, but as with any transfer fee, if he performs well and does his job it will be worth it. The one centre-back when the transfer fee felt so huge at the time was 15 years ago when Rio Ferdinand went to Manchester United. But he repaid that. He was Manchester United's top centre back, won trophies, and was there for 10 years. That is what Van Dijk has to do take Liverpool to trophies and be Liverpool's number one centre back for the next decade or so. The 26-year-old will join the Reds on January 1 from Southampton after agreeing terms over the festive period. The agreed fee for Van Dijk would represent a world record sum for a defender, topping Manchester City's deal to sign Kyle Walker in July. Liverpool announced the signing on Twitter as they posted a picture of Van Dijk posing with a Reds shirt standing in front of a Christmas tree at his house. Van Dijk completed a medical on Wednesday after Liverpool and Southampton reached an agreement over a £75 million fee for the centre-back. Van Dijk will be assigned the number 4 shirt for Jurgen Klopp's side when he completes his transfer to Anfield from Southampton on Monday. Talks have been ongoing in recent days with Southampton leaving the Dutch defender out of their squad to face Tottenham on Boxing Day as discussions came to a head. Manchester City had also held talks for the 26-year-old but were reluctant to meet Southampton's asking price, while Chelsea had also asked to be kept informed. City had cooled their interest when the fee was quoted at £60 million last summer so were never likely to be willing to go as high as £75 million for the defender.